What's going on, guys? John Cochran, the king of systems here. And uh, I want to show you really a powerful strategy, something that every every single person here that's watching this can do in 2019, no matter whether you're a, a brand new real estate investor, or whether you're a, a current established real estate investor doing a lot of deals. I want to show you how you can very, very quickly take your business and put it on steroids. Um, you know, so many people, you know, man, we work with so many people. We, you know, and we were very heavily invested right in here into the, the Dayton area for finding deals. And, you know, I'll tell you, you know, with mentoring so many people, there is a very, very big trend on why real estate investors don't do deals. Okay. Um, and it's not because of lack of training. It's not because of lack of really anything. Um, but this system that I share with you today will be that game changer that, uh, that will really get you to do deals. So, um, why don't you go through down below into the comment section and let me know what you're currently doing to find deals. What are you doing right now to find deals right into your own local market? And I'm going to help you by you putting that in. I'm going to help you go through and take and give you some ideas of how to put that on steroids. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you how to automate this entire process. Okay. So here's the thing I'm going to go through and uh, I've got a mind map that uh, I want to share with you guys uh, right here. So I want to show you guys, uh, whoops, not here, wrong one, wrong one, guys. Um, I want to share you guys some real numbers, some real stats, um, so that it can really, really help you um, understand this. Now, I'm going to put this, these are sales stats, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these stats, and uh, I'm going to put these stats in with uh, these sales stats for real estate investors. 48% of real estate investors will never even follow up with a prospect. 25% of real estate investors will never even make a second follow-up or they'll make a second follow-up and then they'll stop. 12% of real estate investors will make three follow-up attempts and then they will stop. And only 10% of real estate investors will make more than three follow-ups with a prospect, with a motivated seller lead. Now, here's, here's how they go under contract. 2%, so I want you to understand that and keep that in mind. Only 10% of real estate investors will make more than three follow-up attempts. At the same time, 2% of real estate investors, uh, they get their deals under contract on that very first follow-up. So what does that mean? That means that if you are doing direct mail or whatever you're doing, if you're only talking to a motivated seller or somebody about a house, if you're only talking to them one time, you only have a 2% chance of doing a deal, a 2% chance of doing a deal. 3% of real estate investors get their contracts on the second follow-up attempt. 5% of real estate investors are made or 5% of real estate investors put deals under contract on their third follow-up. 10% of real estate investors get the deals under contract on their fourth follow-up and 80%, it jumps up 70%. 80% of real estate investors put deals under contract from the fifth to the 12th touch. So here's what I have seen. OK, here's what I have seen. And if you're just now joining this, if you're just now joining this, I would tell you all put in how you are trying to find real estate deals right into your own local market. Put that in down and in below into the chat, because here's the thing. Here's what I've seen. If 80 percent of deals go under contract from the fifth to the twelfth touch. So many investors are only playing on the two percent because two percent of people or 2% of deals go under contract on that very first touch. So when you send one piece of direct mail out, you only have a 2% chance of doing a deal. But when you send that second piece of direct mail out, you have a 3% chance of doing a deal. When you send out that third piece of direct mail, you've got a 5% chance of doing a deal. When you send out that fourth piece of direct mail, you have a 10% chance of doing a deal. And when you get to that fifth touch, 
when you get to that fifth touch, that fifth direct mail piece, when most investors have already, you know, they've, they've quit, they've stopped, they've, oh my gosh, this just didn't work. When you get to that fifth touch, you have an 80% chance of doing a deal. That's always been my system for direct mail. And this is just one out of 15 different ways that you can go out there and use to find deals. This, you, you need to understand that this business that we're in right now, it's not a lead generation business. Everybody says that and everybody thinks that, oh my gosh, I got to generate all of these leads. Really, the business that we're in is the follow-up business. Bring leads into the system and then go out there and follow up with those leads and make sure that you follow up with those leads five to 12 times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you our follow-up system. How do we go out there and strategically follow up with all of our leads five to 12 times? Now, I want you to keep in mind before I get into this, direct mail is just one. So for example, if you're doing probate attorneys, like you're, you're, you're bringing in leads from probate attorneys, well, guess what? It stays, it, it works the same exact way. If you only go to one meeting with a probate attorney, you've got a 2% chance of doing a deal. When you talk to, right? When you talk to, when you call, when you do all, when you touch these probate attorneys five to 12 times, now you're going to be into the 80% chance of doing a deal. And that's where we all need to play. So if we're going to go to Vegas, you're not going to go out there and, and if you've only got 2% chance of doing a deal or winning your money, you're not going to go out there and play that game. But if you've got an 80% odd that you're going to go out there and do a deal, you're playing that game all day long. And that's what real estate investors need to do. And that's what you really need to understand is that this is a straight game of how good you follow up. Now, the problem is investors just don't do this. So investors are all playing on the 2% rule, right? They're, 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 they're really striking and just getting lucky. And, and that's why more people just don't do deals. So if you focus on just the follow-up side of this, I can promise you that you'll do way more deals in 2019 than what you've ever done. And I'm going to share with you exactly our approach to how we do this, exactly how we do this. So check this out. Okay. Check this out. Hold on one second. Let me try to get this uh, thing. Here we go. Let me come in and let me know if you guys can see the screen too. So it looks like Darius Moore is ready for our 90 day challenge. Jeff is bringing in deals from referrals. Fred cold calling. Paul, what's going on? Awesome. Come in, come in and let me know what, how you're bringing in deals right now. Let me know if you can see the screen too, by the way. If you guys don't want to see my ugly mug, then that's fine. Um, now, here's the thing, okay? If we've got to follow up with prospects five to 12 times in order to get a, that 80% chance of doing a deal, here's the thing. We, as real estate investors, we've got to follow up the five to 12 times, but we have to do that in different ways, right? We can't be that crazy, uh, that crazy girlfriend, you know, that's going out there and, uh, you know, just straight calling, 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 calling. See, we have to hit people and from all different channels. We have to send them notes. We have to send them text messages. We have to leave them voicemails. We have to go out there and, you know, uh, send them cards. We have to send them direct mail. We actually have to call them. We have to do all these different approaches, all these different, uh, you know, systems. So here's the thing, if, if we're going to be doing sending cards, sending texts, sending voicemail, uh, going out there and sending direct mail, all of that other stuff, if we're going to do that, how do we do it? And what do we say? If we're going to follow up five to 12 times, here's what you're going to do. Okay. So here's the follow-up system that we give all of our, let me find the uh, screen. Here we are. So here's the follow-up system that we give all of our 90-day uh, challengers. Okay. So when a lead comes into your system, okay, you know, a, a, a seller calls you, right? They, they call you for whatever reason. It might be a seller or you know what? It very well might be a realtor or it might be a wholesaler or it might be a realtor or, or a um, probate attorney. It might be a code vi violation official. It might be any of those different strategies. It just depends on what you are attacking and how you are going out there and finding deals, okay? The first thing that we always do right after we talk to somebody is we go through and we send them a thank you card. Okay, that's the very first step. And technically, this is touch number one. So they have called in to you and see, again, most real estate investors, what they do is they stop. They stop. They, they don't do any follow-up. Maybe the seller wasn't motivated, 
right? Maybe the seller just called, they got a letter or whatever it might have been. And they didn't go out there and they, they just weren't motivated enough. So, you know, what does the real estate investor do? They never follow up that lead. But here's the thing. That seller called for a reason. They had something in their mind. Let's just say that it was direct mail. They had something in their mind saying, man, I might want to sell my house. Now, they might not sound motivated. They might not be motivated. But you know what? When they change their mind and they are motivated at that point, when they change their mind, you know what you better be? The very first thing that comes into their head, the very first person that comes into their head, when they do get into the shower one day or whatever it is and decide, I need to sell my house. Now, you probably knew that they needed to sell anyways. That's probably why you sent direct mail out to them or why you went out there and reached out to them regardless or why the referral came into you or whatever. It's because somebody or they said that they needed to sell. But when they called you, they just weren't that motivated. So you just don't follow up with them. So you've got on all those inbound calls, you've only got a 2% chance of doing a deal with that. So that's why when you go out there and the very first step, sending them a follow-up card, you know, hey, I just really enjoyed our conversation yesterday. Uh, I'm very interested in buying your house, but I'm more interested in helping you out with your current situation. I can relate with you in so many different ways. Um, just let, just, just know that I'm here to help you. Talk soon, John, right? So that's, that is like a, a, what, we, what we would send out for a, a follow-up card on that very first touch. Now, this the way that you do this follow-up, it's, it's very strategic because there's people that are going to watch this. There's real estate investors that are going to watch this. They're going to get this all wrong because the thing of it is, is that they're going to send out all of these thank you cards. And the biggest thing that they're going to do is they're always going to ask for the sale. They're always going to go through and ask for, you know, the property or whatnot. And that's not what you have to do. That's not what you should be doing to go out there and, and uh, bring in uh, to get sellers, you know, just follow up with sellers. You got to really care about these sellers. You know, we're in the business of of solving problems. We're not into the business of of going out there and um, just buying deals, buying deals, buying deals. We we buy deals by solving problems. Okay. So again, I'm I'm just telling you, uh, you know, you should absolutely follow this 100% of the way. Uh, we do this. It works very very well for us. And. You're going you're gonna to hear how I'm saying all this stuff, and I'm not always asking to put the deal under contract because we actually care. We give a shit about the sellers because we try to help as many as we possibly can because when we help them, we move on. It's not always about money. They don't always need money. Sometimes they need to move. Maybe you need to help them move. Maybe, maybe they need help packing stuff up. It's not always about the money side of it. So the very first follow-up that we do is a, is, a, is a straight thank you card, okay? Just writing a thank you card, just saying, hey, you know, it was nice talking to you. Uh, I'm really interested in buying your house and helping you out of current situation. I can relate to you in so many different ways. Just know that I'm here to help you. Talk soon, John. Now, you might hear from them, you might not, but remember, the call just came in, and that's the very first thing that we're gonna go out there and send them, okay, is that thank you card. Now, we've only followed up with them one time, so that means that we've got a, 2% chance of doing that deal. We've only got a 2% chance of doing that deal. So what we do after that is we will do a phone call. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you are talking to these sellers, okay, when you're talking to these sellers, the biggest thing that you cannot do is you cannot go out there and sound scripted, okay? They're going to see absolutely right through that. Um, if you're going to go into that mode of gathering information, so, okay, so tell me, what is your first name? Okay. What is your email address? Okay. And what is your number, best contact number? Perfect. The sellers don't care about any of that stuff. And see, that's the problem with real estate investors. They go into, you know, gathering mode, see how many, you know, people that they can gather their information on or call centers or whatever. Here, here's the truth of it. If you want to go out there and do deals, you got to build relationships with those sellers. That period. That's that's all you've got to do. You got to build relationships with that seller. So, when building a relationship with a seller or with anybody, you cannot go out there and be scripted. Imagine, you know, you with your spouse. If you imagine the very first time that you talked to them or you saw them or whatnot, you just, hey, can I get your first name? Hey, what is your email address? Hey, can I get your uh, your cell phone number? 
And then you, it's just not going to work like that. You, 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 you go out there and you build a relationship and then it turns into something. So if you're going to go into uh, an information gathering mode, you're not going to be buying their house. You're never going to hear from them again. So this second touch, this phone call, this is not designed to talk about buying their property unless they bring it up, unless they bring it up. Okay. So it's not designed to talk about their property at all. In the second call, what you do is you just ask them if they got your last card, okay? Ask them if they got your last card and what you can do to help them in their current situations. Because again, you need to have a heart. You need to understand that they're going through some types of situations, okay? And you know you need to be able to help them. You need to solve their problem. So again, first step, you talk to them, right? Then you go through and you, you send them a card, which I just gave you that. And then what you do right behind that card, give it a few days, give it a few days. And then you call them up, just say, Hey, Sue, I was just calling you this John Cochran. I was just calling you to see if you got the card that I sent you the other day. No, I didn't get your card or whatnot. No, guess what? Now I've got you on the phone. Or if you have to leave a voicemail, same exact thing. So if you have to leave a voicemail, the process is the same. Don't be scripted, anything like that. Uh, don't talk about past conversations. Just see if, if they, uh, got your card. That's it. Okay. Make sure that you have them. You have a call to action into your call to make sure that they call you back. Okay. So first step, what have we done? First step is we've went out there and we have, uh, uh, sent them a card. Second step is we called them to ask them if they got the card. So now we've done two steps. That means that we have a 3% chance now of doing a deal. The third step, is we're going to send them a text message. Okay. We're going to send them a text message. Hey, first name. I was just driving through your neighborhood and I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. Now, again, like I told you, this is where most real estate investors are going to go wrong because they're going to, they, they it like kills them, man. It, it just absolutely kills them. They, they have to ask for the sale every freaking time. Okay. They have to do that. You cannot, you cannot. So the third step is a text message. Again, just designed Hey, just driving through the neighborhood, I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. Now, they very well right, might respond to that, and they very well might not. It doesn't matter to you. All that matters to you is you've done your third follow-up sequence. You've done your third thing, okay? And that's all that matters, okay? Now, the fourth step, okay? So, so far, what have we done? We have uh, went out there, and we have sent a card. We've called them, and then we sent a text message out to them. Three follow-up attempts. Now we've got a 5% chance of doing that deal. Now we've got to go with the fourth touch. Okay, so now we've got to go with the fourth touch. Fourth touch, this is a personal uh, uh, card. Again, another personal card, really handwritten. Oh my gosh, like what a concept, really a handwritten card. So here's what you do on this fourth card. It's okay to ask for the sale on this one. Hey, first name, I just wanted to revisit our last conversation about me buying your property at 123 Main Street. And I just wanted to see where we're at with everything. I know things can be very overwhelming and stressful right now. I just want to help you through every single step of it. Call me John Cochran at my phone number. So now we've done four touches with this. Okay. We've done four touches. And we've got this, this 5% chance of doing a deal at this point. Now it's okay to ask for the sale at that. This is a real handwritten card that you should be sending to these people. Okay. 5% chance of doing a deal. Now we've, Went out there and sent them. They've called in. A lead has called in. They have uh, got a, uh, a a thank you card from us. They've got a phone call. They've got a text message, and then they got another personal card. Four steps. Five percent chance of doing a deal now. Now at this five or no, it's a ten percent. I'm sorry, it's a ten percent chance of doing a deal now. Now this fifth touch, your percentage is going to go up from ten percent to eighty percent chance of doing a deal. Okay. Now, again, so many investors, they don't even get to this step. They, 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 gave, up, they gave up. They're, they're working on the 2%. They're working on never following up with the prospect. And in reality, this is all straight a follow-up game. So the fifth touch where you go out there and you are your, your chances go up to an 80% chance of doing a deal, all you got to do, go out there on social media, find them on Facebook and just send them a friend request. That's it. Send them a friend request. If you want to, a, a strategy that we've been doing very, very well is to take your cell phone, okay, send them a friend request and send them a direct message, 
Okay. Hey, this is John. Just wanted to put a face uh, with us. I know that we haven't, uh, you know, actually seen each other yet or whatnot. I just wanted to give you a quick call and uh, just see if, you know, or just want to shoot this video for you and see, uh, kind of make sure that you're doing good and uh, see if you can um, see if you're in a position to sell your house yet. Okay. So your fifth touch, just send them a friend request on social media. And if you want to record a video on your cell phone and send it to them right there in messenger. Now, the reason that I like this, very simple. The reason that I like this is because guess what you can see? You can see if they actually go out there and you can see if they, they actually see it. Okay. If they saw that by having their little profile picture down in the, the bottom right hand side. So, you know, you know if they actually went out there and saw that or not, okay? So I would tell all of you guys, send that uh, friend request to them, but now your chances just went up to 80% chance of doing a deal. So at this point, you know, look look, look at the time that's passed. I mean, you've, you've went through maybe, maybe like two, three, four weeks have already passed when you're doing these five different touches, okay? So, all, you know, maybe a, a three, four, five weeks has passed, and that's okay. That's absolutely, absolutely okay. Because here's the thing, between that time, their mind could change. And here, what I mean by the 2% is let's say somebody else sends them the direct mail piece at the right time when their mind changes, guess who's not in their, their head? You. That's why this follow-up is so, so key. You want to do deals in 2019? If you want to do deals in 2019, this is exactly what you do. OK, so now you followed up with them five times. OK, five times. Hopefully you guys are writing this stuff down. Hopefully you're writing and comment below. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if this is helpful. I mean, I already know this stuff. This is what we do every single day. I'm here to help you go out there and close more deals. So let me know if this is if this is helpful for you guys. Um, so the sixth piece. So the sixth piece that you would go out there and do with these guys. And to keep in mind, you're already you're already playing the in the 80 percent pool at this point. You're already playing in the 80% pool. So your sixth piece is actually a direct mail piece. It's a direct mail piece. It's, it's a regular direct mail piece that we would normally do, okay? It's a normal direct mail piece that we would normally do. I'm looking to buy, you know, four homes around you or, or whatnot in a five-mile radius. It's a standard direct mail piece, okay? Now, this is, you know, your touch number six. Touch number six with this. Now, keep in mind, this lead came in. Whether it was a, they were delinquent on their taxes or it came from direct mail or what, whatever it might have been, or they're the sheriff's auction or whatever it might be. It does not matter. There's so many different ways to go out there and find deals. Six piece, just a regular direct mail piece. Okay. Now, touch number seven. Again, you're already playing in the 80% pool. You're already playing in that pool. Touch number seven is you actually redo step two. Touch number eight is you redo step three. Touch number nine is you redo step four. So on touch number seven, after you send your direct mail piece out, touch number seven, go right back up and you do you call them again to build that relationship, see if there's anything that you can do. Touch number eight, what you do is you send them a text message again, same exact text message, hey, just driving through the neighborhood, was thinking all about you, hope you're doing well. And then touch number nine, is you send them a personal card again. Now you tell me, you go out there and explain this to me. You've, you've seen that side of the, there's still more to what we're gonna be doing because I'm gonna show you how to really put this on steroids here in a second. Now you tell me how you go out there and you sent out something, a lead came into your system, you called them, or I'm sorry, you sent them a card, you called them, you text them, you sent them another card, you friend requested them on social and or shot them a, a personal video and put it right there into their messenger. And then you sent out a direct mail piece. And then you went out there and you did it again. Then you sent, sent them another call. You called them again. You text them again. And then you sent out another card. You tell me on those nine things that you just did, how in the world are you not going to be the number one thing in that seller's mind? whenever they're looking to sell a property. You're gonna be the absolute number one thing that they would ever even think about because nobody else is doing that. Everybody else is just sending a piece of direct mail to them and they don't give a shit. They don't care about these sellers at all, at all. They're just, I'm not saying that on everybody, but most of the people, they're just going out there and they're just sending out direct mail pieces 
they'll send out 40,000 pieces of direct mail, whatever it is, because they're, they're having to play on the 2%. It's not how many leads you have. It's how well you follow up the leads that you already have into your system. I would be guaranteeing you, I would be willing to bet you guys, almost guaranteeing you that you probably have a quarter of a million dollars at least in your pipeline right now. All you have to do is go out there and do exactly what I'm showing you right now. Now, so you go to the ninth step. The ninth step is to go out there and the ninth step is to send them another personal card, okay? Now, what we do after that is we kind of, eh, we're just going to stay in front of them in a different way at this point. Because we figure that if we did all of this, if we went out there and followed up with them, you know, with those nine steps, and we just need to stay in front of them at this point. They already know who we are, okay? They already know who we are. We've been in front of them. Now we just need to stay in front of them. So we kind of get, I don't want to say impersonal, but what we do after that is we go through and we just put them on our direct mail uh, drip campaign. That's all we do. So we'll, we'll just put them, you know, so steps 10 through 16 is to send them one piece of direct mail every single 30 days, okay? I mean, and, and you can do this. I'm not going to open this stuff up. It doesn't really matter. But the thing of it is, is that your, your step 10 through 16 is just put them on a direct mail campaign. What most people do for just their, every single 30 days and just do that for, for the remainder of, of the time, okay? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't need a ton of people into your system in order to do deals. See, what I tell, one of the reasons why we're so successful into our 90-day challenge and why we're so successful, you know, why our students are so successful in our 90-day challenge and why we are so successful into our local business right here in Dayton is because, you know what, we don't work with the massive ass. I don't try to go out there and bring a thousand leads into my system. I don't do that. You know what I try to do? I try to bring in a manageable size of leads into my system, into my ecosystem so that I can follow up with all of those leads because when I do, I know that those will turn into deals. I'll tell you a story before I show you how to automate this, the entire thing. If you guys are interested in that, I don't know. You might, you might not want to know how to automate this whole thing. Here's the thing. Back in 2007, 2008, I, and this was almost to the point to where I was getting my clock cleaned. I was, you know, losing $600,000, you know, it, you know, at the end of the day, I lost $600,000. Okay. In debt. Now here's the thing. I was one of the largest short sale investors in the entire state of Ohio. Okay. I mean, we were doing a lot of deals, making a lot of money. Well then 2007, 2008, the market started to change. I didn't change with it. I didn't change with the real estate market. And I personally, I got my clock cleaned. And I deserved it. I, I wasn't following the market. I wasn't doing exactly what I was supposed to do. And I deserved it. Okay. Now, here's the thing. In the short sale business, it's all about how many files you actually working on, right? You try to work on files. Well, I remember this very, very clean. I was, I, when I had 16 to 20 files into my system at all times, 16 to 20 files into my system at all times, I was routinely closing on about two deals a month. Now, those two deals were making me about $25,000 a pop. So those two deals would turn into right around $50,000 in revenue a month. Do the math on that. $50,000 a month times 12 months, you're not hurting for cash, okay? Here's the thing. So it doesn't take a genius to figure this one out. Well, well duh, if I'm, doing, if I'm working on 20 files now, Right. If I'm working on 20 files now, make it 50,000. If I can increase the files that I have, well, it makes a lot of sense. If I can increase my files to 100 files, I should be doing 10 deals a month. Right. I should be doing 10 deals a month. So now I just increased my income 50,000 to 250,000 dollars. Don't work like that because I tried that. It doesn't work like that. And why? And, and I did that. So why did I fail at doing that? Why did I work on 100 files and only do, you know, one or two deals a month by taking on all that extra load? It's because I wasn't able to follow up with any of those files. I wasn't able to follow up. This is a follow-up game, guys. This is a follow-up game. So what we, tell, what we do in our business and what we tell all of our 90-day challengers, guys, only have 15 to 20 deals right into your pipeline, prospects into your pipeline. You don't need 100. 
Because guess what you can't do is 100. You can't do that at all. Okay? Again, I hope I hope that this is resonating. I hope that this is really hitting you hard because, guys, I'll tell you, this, this is life-changing. This is very, very life-changing. Now, here's the thing. This market is changing very, very rapidly. Investors are struggling. You know, they're struggling. You know, this is a follow-up game. Investors are struggling very, very hard to go out there and find deals. You hear all these other gurus. You hear all these other people. Man, the market's changing. It's moving from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Things are starting to slow down. But you know what? Nobody, everybody's predicting this crash, but nobody can tell you exactly what it is. Okay, they can't tell you exactly what it is. And I will tell you firsthand, this market, it is changing. It is changing very, very quickly. Like, do not, there's some, some stuff that you absolutely do not want to invest in right now. Luxury real estate is one of them. You want to stay right around your median price point. You've got to do certain strategies in certain different areas, and you will be safe all of the time. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to go. What I've done is you probably have already heard about our System Saturday uh, uh, show that we do on YouTube every single Saturday and have. We do a live event one time a year that we charge a lot of money for, but I'm not going to do that this time. It's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Okay, it's, it's from January 20th. 21st and 22nd. What I decided to do to put my money where my mouth is because this market is changing so quickly, I'm not going to charge anybody for this event. Nobody. I'm going to do this one on the house. I'm going to show you how to crush 2019, how this market is changing, why this market is changing, and what systems you should be doing to be safe into this market. And most importantly, how you go out there and find deals and how you automate this all of this follow-up. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff. Guys, we're working on hundreds of leads now, having every bit of our follow-up done for us, everything that we talked about, completely for us, automatically, perfect all the time. I'm not even having to lift a finger. I'm going to show that there. So I'm going to do this one on the house. Okay, so for the next couple of days, you can go out there and get a free ticket to the, uh, to the System Saturday Live workshop that, uh, that we are doing. And I'm telling you, it is going to be very, very life changing. It's going to be very life changing. I don't know of too many people that will go out there and do a live event on the house, not charge a damn thing for it because they want to change your life that much. But I can't change your life if you won't change your life. So uh, we're going to talk all about deals. We're going to show you how to follow up automatically with everybody uh, to where you don't even have to think about it. So here's what you need to do. OK, here's what you need to do. I'm going to show you all about uh, System Saturday Live. And here's what you need to do. Go to 2019shift.com. Okay, so go to 2019shift.com. Let me see if I can put that up <clears throat> right here onto your guys' screen. There you go. So go to 2019shift.com. Read all about it. See exactly what we're going to be doing at 2019shift because I'll tell you, this market, it is changing. It is changing very, very quickly. And the truth of it is, and I hate to say this, but it is the absolute truth. There's so many real estate investors that are going to be get absolutely clobbered, just like I did in 2008, because I didn't know how to react to the market. I didn't know how to react to it. I was going with systems that used to work. So we test absolutely everything. We automate nearly everything into our real estate investing business. And I'm going to do this one on the house and show you how to dominate, absolutely control this 2019 real estate market. Have somebody in your corner that believes in you, that's not going to charge you for at all for this thing. And or any not this is not one of those things. There's all these speakers and all this other shit. And we're going to have all these people, you know, selling you all this other stuff. It's me and my attorney, Jeff Watson. Hard hitting systems of what we're doing in our business in 2019. And we're going to give you that blueprint so that you can do the same damn thing right into your own local market. So uh, right here onto your screen, you can see it. Go to 2019shift.com. Grab your free ticket to that. Uh, it's There's not going to be that many left. I can tell you I can, the room's only so big. Here's the other thing. We're going to need to confirm your ticket because we're not going to deal with this. You know, you're going to take it, one of these tickets and then, oh, by the way, uh, you're not going to show up. So we're going to need to confirm your ticket. So just be aware of that. We're going to need to confirm your flight. And if you're driving in, we're going to make you put down a small deposit 
that we're going to give you back immediately when you get to uh, to Vegas on uh, January 20th, 21st, and 22nd. So um, I can't wait to meet you guys. I can't wait to show you guys really what we're doing in 2019. It's systems that other people, they're not even doing. They're not even doing any of these systems. They're not doing any of this follow-up that I showed you how to do. They're not doing any of that stuff. I'm going to show you how to nearly automate it and find hidden deals right into your own local market. Okay. So go right now to 2019 shift.com. Go back and listen to this. Go back and listen to this. There was a lot of nuggets. I want you to write down every bit of this stuff. This will change your life. If this is not a business of how many leads you bring in, this is a business of all how you follow up. This is exactly how we follow up. I just covered every bit of it. Guys, get your ass to Vegas. I want to see you guys there. And um, I want to show you guys what we're doing in 2019. It is absolutely the most powerful thing you've ever seen. Put my money where my mouth is. This one's on the house. See you guys.